Today, the um, city of Lowell and the University of Massachusetts Lowell closed on uh, this arena, and uh, as of now, forward is the Paul E. Songus Center at UMass Lowell, and we are here to uh, celebrate uh, what has been really a, a year and a half or so, or two years of uh, negotiations and discussions between the city and the university. Uh, this is a building that we will obviously try to expand uh, the number of events, the number of concerts and family shows. And at the same time, because it is located on our East Campus, we think that we can make this more vibrant for our students, a student convocation center, if you will, a place where we can bring speakers in, a place where we can um, have academic events, a place where we have our commencement now, but we hope that, uh, that we have more student events here. As many of you may know, the university is growing. Uh, we are increasing the number of students who uh, have beds on campus. We've gone from 25% students who live on campus to 40%, and our goal is within the next two years to get to 50%. Why do we want students to live on campus? Because statistically, they do better. The success rates of students uh, go up when students are more engaged with us on campus and community learning uh, uh, centers and working with uh, cohorts of students and faculty members that are assigned to them. And by the way, uh, in spite of what all the great things you hear about UMass Lowell, the most important thing that has happened at this university has been the fact that student success rates, that is the number of students who are successful, has gone up by 6% among our freshman class, and we're really proud of that. There are a number of us who have been working over a period of time, and I have a number of people to introduce, and I want to start with the uh, city manager of Lowell. Uh, city manager Bernie Lynch and I have been in discussions for a while. Uh, we're both um, UMass Lowell grads. Uh, we both uh, have a tendency to want to make sure we get everything that we want in negotiations, and I think it's fair to say that uh, that uh, both uh, the university and the city feel that, uh, that we have a, a partnership that will continue for a long period of time.